Hello and welcome to a new video about the application of pneumatics, pneumatic logics. Let's say we want to help the cylinders a little bit. We talked about throttling to make them slower and now we're talking about quick exhaust to make them faster. I will distinguish now between two cases, single acting and double acting cylinder. Let's have a look. At this drawing, I already prepared a little bit something here. Yeah? So this is the single acting cylinder part, here is the double acting cylinder part. Let's first talk about the single acting cylinder part. The only thing which makes sense in single acting case is that we are helping the spring that it will travel faster inside. So this means the quick exhaust valve yeah, may be located here somewhere. Yeah? So I will draw simply here the quick exhaust valve. Symbol of the quick exhaust valve. Looking like this. Inside, if we have here the one connector, looks like that. Here would be three. It is exhaust. And here, this is two. And two is connected to the cylinder. right? And two will be also connected to this side, so that it will lift off here. And here we are simply connecting to this two. Huh? So if I press the button, we will fill the cylinder, the cylinder is traveling outside. If I release the button, yeah, then the cylinder is traveling inside again. Yeah? However, quite fast, because this will simply be exhausted here. Yeah? So one thing is for sure, that the spring will, for the spring it will be easier simply. Yeah? And it will travel fast. So this means the distance between cylinder and quick exhaust valve should be rather small. Should be rather small. Here we have an cage. Okay. And so this is either either directly at the cylinder or maybe a short hose or something like this. What's in that case? In that case. Let's say we want to speed up the travel outwards. Okay? In, inside, it sh everything should be normal. Yeah? We really want, because we want to hammer something or something like this. Yeah? We want to ping, 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 hammer, and the movement inside should be normal. normal yeah? So inside, I'm simply connecting to four. Yeah? And out, yeah? I am adding this quick exhaust valve here here's the one here's the three and I will even this time I will even uh, add this noise cancelling here okay because I want I want it to be cancelled this two this is one connected to here yeah. And this would be then also a KH, but we are in system 2, so it would be a 2 KH. Yeah. So, if we are traveling outwards, the, the air which is located inside here will quickly exhaust here, yeah, and it will travel very fast to the, to the outer end. Yeah. And in back position, we will fill in here. This will seal three. Ooh, I forgot this, this line here. Now it's better. It will seal three and we will fill and this will, the air has to travel back, back to five. So we are passing this valve. So in the backwards direction, it would not be that fast. This is how you may use quick exhaust valves. So, uh, simply to reach the end position, to speed up. Yeah? And like I said, directly connected to the cylinder or maybe with a short hose, this is enough. Yeah? Because the longer the way between the exhaust opening of the cylinder and the quick exhaust valve will be, the more we have Trials. Next time we are talking about now 
I said this is maybe hammering. Yeah? Next time we were talking about embossing something. Yeah? Apply force and emboss whatever we want to have. Yeah? Different materials, so we would have to adjust the force which we are pressing the stamp somehow. Yeah? How we apply force of a cylinder? We'll hear next time. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.